Today you'll see the difference between a 50 handicap and a 3 handicap over 9 holes. 5'9 is a 15 handicap and wants to break 80. We are at Kirinara Golf Course and we are the only golfers for the day. Yep. Oh, what a striker. Look at that, huh? Good shot. Lucky for Lung, 265 to the pin, 237 to carry that bunker. And I think I'm gonna go toward the green because I'm quite confidential with the seven wood. Oh, oh my God. Okay, Good, shot. <laughs> Good shot. What a... And that's gone in the water. Is that lucky for Lung? Lucky. <laughs> I nutted that. Beauty. It's on the green. Perfect. Yeah. That was a really dumb shot. I mean, like, even if I pulled it off, right, the best yeah. case, the best case is I'm just over that bunker with that little, I don't know, 30 square meters of landing area. Yeah. Because I didn't. Oh, man. Little chunky. Man. Little what? chunky. That is so bad. I'm It grabbed a bit, but not bad. Good putt. Great putt. Buddy! Hey. Too much power. On the opening hole, we matched each other shot for shot. Two ratty pars. And we only hit one or two good shots. Sit. Sit. Okay, I'm gonna go five because those trees make me crap myself. I just blocked it a bit. Good shot. Yo, so you see power. where that divot started? Beautiful. Lovely flight, man. I haven't reached the fairway, so potentially could have hit, should have hit the seven yeah, wood. Yeah. Been a bit more confident. It's not that wide here, and into these, into these plantations, not great. So I'm going to hit the six iron from here. I'm probably about 330 away. Hit the six there. Try to leave myself 140, 150 yard shot into the green. That's okay. First time playing this golf course. Oh no. Oh, I'm in the dog shizer. Okay, what are we looking at here? I just got to get it back in the fairway. There ain't much else we can do here. No. Okay. Chipperino. That'll work. At least you reached the fairway. I didn't. But <laughs> it's because it's wet. Skyed that a little bit, and we're right on the front. So, okay, what have we got here? About, about 35? About 20, 26 yards. 26 yards. And I took a, I've got a 57. Beautiful. Fluffy lie. Let's we'll see, we just want to get it on the green. GIO to G, bro. Go. Okay. Oh, Ignang. Yeah, I know what I did wrong. Yeah, yeah, so let's, let's, like, let's imprint a good one over there. You've got so much green beyond the pin, just to the right of it, that you can really just get it on. Exactly. Exactly. Watch, it's going to nestle up to like a foot. I don't know why I was trying to add so much loft. Because you've got a bunk in front of you. Everybody does it. That's why I say, get it on the green. So then that's what happens. You don't have to add loft all the time. And then you just hit a standard pitch shot. Caddy. All this stuff behind the green here. Beautiful. Yeah, good chip. Oh my word, that's a bit different. Good putt. Yeah. Uh, the... Yeah, good shot. Oh man. Little power fader. I can't hit it any better. Mm. 
Right side, okay. Yeah, I hit a big fade there just to avoid the duck hook into the water. Yeah, okay. No, it's not coming YouTube, in at huh? all. That's yeah, a really bad shot. Yeah. Oi, okay. no okay. good. I think polish, but there. should be good. Yep. Yep, perfect. Okay, now let's go have a look at this. Let's take it a bit serious, okay? Oh my word, is this topsoil? We make matching scores of four in two very different ways. This highlights misconceptions people have when thinking of how decent golf actually looks. A 15 handicap played a solid par four like a three handicap, and a three handicap made a scrambling par like a 15 handicap by draining a putt. Okay, how much you get in it, girl? 141. Okay, pitching? Adjusted. Man, I don't even have a shot. I'm going, am I doing three quarter? Am I doing a full one? What am I doing? Come on, Maddie, let's go. Confidential. Shot. Whew. What'd you hit? A pitching wedge. Oh, he's go. gonna like that. Go. Ah, no, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. I completely miss hit that. It sounded, I, I think I hit it off here. It sounded skinny. It sounded disgusting. Good, Good touch. What a putt That was off the green. What a putt That was off the green, Caddy. If you missed. Okay. Uh, very good. Palm trees, what a hole. One of the toughest little nine holes I've ever played. <laughs> That's a good shot. Um, I like this shot. Nice. I like it. I like it. It's okay, it's fine, we're putting. I'm on a cart path. It's kind of plantation road. I got a gap up there I can't do unless I was on proper grass. If I hit the splash shot, it's never going to reach if it gets through that gap because the trajectory is straight up and down. So I don't have much choice. We've got a bunker between us and the green. So I guess I'm going to try to pitch it into the bank where the caddy's walking now. Oh man. That's all. Good shot. Not a bad putt player, not okay, a bad huh? putt. Three. Oh, it's inside the hole. You're right, Sam. What do you think? Sammy, huh? you're right. So far, we've seen how two golfers, 12 handicap points apart, can hit different shots and finish with the same score. 5-9 hit a solid five wood, followed by a chunky wedge, but hits the green. I hit a driver into the palms and had no shot onto the green. We both finish with fives. One from the three putt and one with five unimpressive golf shots. Yeah, yeah. Not my best though. You slipped. Ah! Your foot slipped. That's fine. Leftish, but fine. No comment. <laughs> I'm playing like an absolute toss pot. Good touch. Great putt. Oh, caddy, no good. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Caddy. 
Thank you, Caddy. Your Caddy is not quiet. My Caddy is so quiet. I hit a good shot. <laughs> you're, you're... Whoa! Oh, good shot. Uh, <laughs> Bryson! Uh, dude, I just want to point something out. Good she just said nice shot. Good shot. Three times, she said three times. When I play with subscribers, they often overthink and sometimes will rationalize themselves into shots they don't know how to hit. It may be because they watch my channel and think I will disapprove. I don't want 5'9 to verbalize before a shot. It's breaking his natural rhythm. His pre-shot routine is consistent. And if he adds even an extra few seconds of talking or rationalizing, it will break up his flow. The pre-shot routine gets you into the mode of hitting a good shot. Interrupting it with unknowns is like trying a flop shot from the fringe when a putt is a hundred times better. And I've pulled hooked it. Yeah, yeah, but that happens. It happens sometimes. Double crossed. Okay, now... Go ball. Kind of hit that with an open face. It should be short. Shot. On. Yes. Just. Is it on? Okay, Joe just hit that one from about 55 yards. We can move and he because landed top on the so, front huh? and it rolled out to there. Great shot. One of Five Nights' biggest weaknesses is negative, self fulfilling death loops. At Raja Prapa, Five Nine tried to talk himself into a couple of double bogeys. I told him to STFU and make the putts for bogey, which he did. He did it again on this hole. No double? Where? This is a bogey putt? Yeah. What are, what are we talking about? I know, I need to stop being straight, huh? <laughs> You've just said there's a double bogey out of nowhere. You've got five foot for the bogey. Three, four foot. Tell me why. Tell me what has happened to you. This guy's talking about double bogeys from nowhere. That's the second time in two days he's done that. And second time I told him and remind him it's a freaking bogey putt. The, the, it's so difficult to change your mindset because I, I know I shouldn't think like that, but I think, oh, I've got out of trouble. I've hit the green from way left. And then I've left that putt short and I'm like, ah, that's it, I'm done. Double bogey. Whereas really I should just think, well, I was lucky to even get it on the green. Every time you defeat your negative self-talk and get the ball in the cup, you save a shot and build confidence to stop self-sabotaging. I used to say the same things to myself when I was younger. I'd have a five-footer for a bogey or a par and tell myself middle of the fairway and here comes a double. Then I would calculate how I could still break 80 after the double bogey. I would do this all before even hitting my third shot. I'm scooping my wedges today, players. Scooping them up like that really high. I don't know why. So the caddies told me um, I've, got, I've got 88. I can go over the flag because it'll come back. Okay, it's, oh, look uh, at that backstop, yeah. There's a backstop, so I've got my 50 here, and I've just got to go at the green, at the pin. I think it's the only only way to go. Um, and if it goes left, it's cool, but I've just got to make sure I get it there off this. Okay, now I would uh, try a pitching wedge. Pitching caddy. And a pitch, pitching and evening loop the shot. You think I would pull that all day long? Uh, no, it's not so much about the pull. It's more about the not so Thanks, much Kay. pressure to get the shot right because I think you have more more margin for error. Is it was it sitting up? It was really high up, like, like that. that. Yeah. Okay. Now take the pitching and go dead at the pin and grip down a little bit and hit the exact same shot you just hit. Yeah, that's going to always be better because you're adding loft because because of this here. So your pitching wedge is going from 46 yeah. to 50. So that's a 50 degree. The other one you had increased to 54. And then there's a slight breeze into us. The ball's yeah. going to stop dead. Pitching wedge all day long. Okay. And then less hook because less loft. So once again, we have the shot. We just need a different selection. Yep. Because it was the exact same shot you just hit. Yep. Just different variables. And that one spun back down here after landing just on the front edge. Oh and the, dear. And the other one made it onto the middle of the green there, which is perfect. He's got a putt. And now he's got a very tough chip up the hill. I'm if you go dead at the pin, you have up to about here. Yeah. Four yards. Up to about here. Yeah. Once it goes past here, it's off this side of the green. Okay. But if you go left of the pin, you got you got eight yards of space. And what do you think? My 57 or? 
Yeah, 57. It's a bloody tough shot. Now remember with this one, it has to be, you know, remember the, the one you did earlier, I said no loft? This one needs loft. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, you're right. This now. is the best part, you got all the shots, right? Yeah. I don't think if I go, if I go two foot past the hole, dead. This is like crazy golf. But if I putt it, it has a chance of doing that because I can't judge this first half. I'm going to go 58. Watch this now. This should be entertaining. Caddy, I'm going to have to putt it. This is, <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> I can't, I can't, that that I, bounced. I, I can't hit it past the cup, bro. Otherwise, I'm dead. So okay. That bounced straight up. Oof, gee whiskers, by golly, gee whiskers, what a bogey, that's a good putt, see, <laughs> good putt bad boy, not many places like in Thailand, look at this horses, great hamburgers down there, the horses, Oh, why is it going right now? Man alive. It's a good strike though. I know, but my... Over the back. Perfect club. Get left. Ah. No, it's good. It's left of the bunker. This is tough. Oh, what a bounce. And bye-bye. No, no, stop. No, it's dead. So where do you reckon? Aim right, just aim right. <laughs> what a miss. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Come back. That's in the hole. That's in the hole. <laughs> what the hell is this green? Did you make this green, Some Kuntam green name, right? Some. Yeah. Dude, in that position, I think you are Perfect. what we call in the industry Fukuda. Is that the greatest touch of all time? Okay, huh? We're very good. Very good. <laughs> very good. In the end, we missed the greens in the wrong places. We hit tee shots in the wrong places and we scrambled to an acceptable score. We went to the hotel after this round and since there is nothing to do in Kaolak, we sat on the beach eating steak. What a life! <laughs>